Oh, is this actually... Oh, wow, you guys actually have a whole thing going. B-Mob. <laughs> all right, all right. So Akatan... Okay, so Hurricanes is a Falco going up against Akatan's Greninja. Uh, I know only a, a bit about Akatan. I know he mentioned that he played uh, Rivals of Aether for a little bit before getting into Ultimate. You can kind of see shades of that in his Greninja because... Uh, Greninja generally has really poor out of shield options, but if you're used to playing platform fighters where you don't get to shield to begin with, it kind of all becomes like, you know, neutral. Mm -hmm. um, right now, like I said, just kind of chilling in the center, and so is kind of Hurricane. They're kind of running in the Ooh. wild aerials, but otherwise, not trying too hard to make any reads on anyone's habits yet. Yeah. The one thing about Akatan's Greninja is he hasn't been able to get drag down combos down very well, but when he does get them, he excels very well. Mm. Yeah, that up air, and especially like not only the combos, but like the tech situations that happen afterwards on that drag down are crazy. And great read on the Phantasm there. Akatan only at 41%. Just wasting uh, time right there on the edge while Hurricane has invincibility. Hurricane not really jumping out to chase. Ooh, Akatan maybe could have jabbed right there, putting him in a tough situation. Now, Hurricane bringing out the up tilt. I love this, especially because of how uh, airborne Akatan has been this whole time. Uh, that up tilt by Falco, not only a great anti air, but it's your favorite party starter as the character. Yep, especially against the weight of Greninja as well. Keep Greninja up in the air for a very long time. You can connect it with an up air, mm -hmm. and multiple up airs as that. And then at death percent, you do the uh, double wagon combo, as we call it here in NorCal, the up tilt to back air. <laughs> Coming down with the Shuriken is very smart. Pushes them away, stops them from engaging, and then he can he can just restart neutral. Yeah. And it's, it's a because at worst what Hurricane does in that situation, right? It's like he reflects the shuriken. In mm -hmm. which case, yeah, you get hit by it, but like he still had to stop running to toss out the reflector. So you're probably not eating too much more damage aside from that. And then from there, you can make your way back on ground. I still feel like they're trying to feel each other out right now. Still trying to figure out each other's play styles. Mm -hmm. That's always the fun thing about watching a tournament play, especially after friendlies, is like how much slower everybody is suddenly. Like everybody makes the most wild reads in friendlies, but like once you, once you got money on the line, everything calms down a bit. No one knows why he does this, but Akaton doesn't like to play friendlies before a tournament. Huh? Don't I don't get it. It's oh, a, he accidentally jumped after that. Hmm. So it could be one of two things. Uh, the first is maybe like a superstition thing, like yeah. oh maybe I'll wear myself out or something. Uh, the the unfortunate one, which it might be, is people are afraid that the people they fight in friendlies will download them, and then they won't be able to beat them in bracket. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's kind of a, a really short-sighted fear, because if you think you can be figured out within two games, you're just trying to gimmick your opponents at that point. You're not actually trying to outplay them. Mm -hmm. Akatong's been doing a very good job this whole entire game of just keeping Falco up into the air with up airs and other combos like fair. Mm -hmm. Hurricane's in a real tight spot. Oh, the Shadow Snake not going to come together. Man, Hurricane's really... The, the thing that's interesting is, like, he was bringing out the up tilt in the middle of that second stock, but then during the third one, like, we didn't really see it come out to play as much, so, like, Akatana get to keep jumping around, and being Greninja, they have such a good uh, jump, both the short hop and their biggest, uh, I think, base jump, right? Biggest or second biggest, uh, that you really want to be able to lock that down. Every kill from that match was Akaton reading the uh, Hurricane from dropping down with a, uh, with a F smash. Yeah. Every single time he caught him falling uh, with an unsafe aerial. It's, uh, that's the other thing he's got to be careful of, yeah. That forward smash is, I mean, it's so solid because it might be a, not as fast as other ones, but it's so disjointed and it's super strong. So you can go ahead and bait people into it, especially if you read like the, uh, the Phantasm recoveries uh, as well. All right. Puts him off the stage. See? Oh. Nice grab from Akaton. Keeping him off off the right side of the stage right now. Can't get back on. Yeah, this has been kind of the struggle for Hurricane. Makes it back on this time with the getup attack. Both Ooh. whiffing right here. A little awkward situation on this tiny platform. It's interesting to watch uh, when both players stay on the platform in those situations, mm -hmm. right? Usually in those scrambles, somebody wants to see, uh, seize like the middle ground. Um, but in that case, they were both feeling confident enough to keep pressing buttons. They both really, really want to edge guard each other, but they don't really know how. <laughs> I, I think it's they're also trying to edge guard like at really early percents, so that when they do come together, it's just like a slight hit, right? They don't actually yeah. die from it. Okay, that's one way to get back to center stage. I'm assuming <laughs> that was a misinput. Like yeah. 
stopping your momentum. Oh, that's happened a lot so far with uh, with grabs or he pivots the grabs. Uh, down smash has been a really good uh, move to cover that. Yeah, that one was actually really clever too because Hurricane F-tilted at like a very far range to prompt out that shield grab to begin with and he just knew he was plus enough to get the down smash. Forward throw being a kill that can kill at a high percent near the ledges. Mm -hmm. Opting to put him off stage. Nice, reads him again, throwing an unsafe aerial, killing him with that F smash. Once again, Winslow, you called it. That's the number one thing Hurricane's got to work on for his stock longevity. A lot of whiff grabs off of up tilt. A ton. He, it, it's not connecting. He either needs to run in a little bit more or opt for a different option. What I'm assuming is happening is I think that might be a thing on like floatier characters, and Akatan isn't adjusting to Falco being one of the fastest fallers. Mm -hmm. So halfway through that, he could Hurricane could have rolled right through that yep, and actually tossed frames. out that forward smash. Yeah. That's uh, something very important to, to know in those rapid jabs. A good mix-up for that, though, is to end your jab a little bit earlier. Especially with uh, my main inkling. It yeah. covers. Oh, yeah. It's very good. It's because you'll catch them, like, even halfway through the roll, maybe, mm -hmm. and you'll still be safe. All right. Good catch. Catching his jumps right now. Trying to get the sh shadow sneak. Yeah, looking for the flashy stuff. I feel like that sort of play really works when you have your opponent scared enough to like be committing to an air dodge or something, so that like their movement is more limited. Oh, I like that. Catching the double jump by Hurricane. Hurricane though, making it through with the getup attack, and these guys are still so close to even. Yeah, this I... has been a very close match this whole entire time. I don't know if I agree with uh, Hurricane going in with the down air, though, as his main opener mm -hmm. uh, on his approaches. Because the thing is, he kind of telegraphs it because you see the short hop in the beginning, and that's why Akatan's able to throw out these uh, anti-air so consistently. See how he punishes? Nice parry on the last hit of the jab, getting that forward smash, taking this lead, but, but not by much. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is very, very doable for Falco. Well, only manages to get an F-tilt. Wow, at this rate, yeah, up, up tilt at one of these platforms can absolutely kill. He's getting a lot of these soft hits, but he's not finding that strong hit to take this stock right now. Oh, and he gets the up air just as I say it, and it's one stock to one stock. A lot of whiffs right here. Yeah. And Falco off stage. Gets the slight F tilt, but doesn't get anything out of it. Just resorts the back up and go back in the neutral. Gets the dash attack in the up air, the drag down. Ooh, let's go. Let's see what this party is. Nice. Ooh. And he catches him with the fair, puts him off stage. Gets him with the uppy, but he makes it back. Akatan just staying cool and holding on to the, to the center stage. Akatan's oh. doing a really good job of covering his double jump, but he missed right there. See what Hurricane does right now, being pushed off to the right side of the stage. He's using his jumps a lot. Yeah. Oh, beautiful dash back for Smash from Akatan. Yeah. Caught yeah. Hurricane with the dash attack. Uh, Hurricane coming in with the dash attack. Beautiful punish, reading that. Yeah. Drawing back with the F Smash.